Hey everyone, welcome to round two of the Explore Outdoors map box challenge. Uh, in the last video, we worked on uh, building a map of our favorite hometown spots. Uh, this time we're going to incorporate that map into an iOS app and uh, add some navigation to it. Uh, just for this video though, we're going to work on getting the navigation set up. And yeah, and then there will be a second one on showing how to uh, set up the navigation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to Xcode and create a new project, a single view app. Uh, we're going to call it Explore Outdoors. And we're going to put it, uh, the language will be Swift. Sweet. So it's basically just a single view controller a storyboard, plain old app. So what we'll do now is we'll create a pod file for our um, for a project to add the navigation. So what we'll need for that is our project name, which is Explore Outdoors, uh, the Mapbox iOS SDK, and the navigation uh, pod as well. And we're going to go 0 0.18.1 save our pod file so let's go. there it is and we will call it pod file sweet so now we'll open up the terminal and see that we're recording this <laughs> uh, so we'll change directories into the explore outdoors folder and if we look in there we have our pod file so we can say pod install which will install the SDKs into our project once that's done I actually end up when I ever I install something I close it because you need to open the workspace instead. So let's open the workspace. Great. So our pods, uh, you can see they're installed. Um, what I like to do is I like to build my uh, just build my app to make sure that it's uh, nothing was broken when I installed it. Awesome. So everything's all built. So let's start importing what we need for our map. So we're going to import Mapbox. We are going to also import uh, for now. Let's say Mapbox uh, navigation, uh, Mapbox core, oh, import statement, import Mapbox core navigation, and we're going to end up using directions in our app as well. So Mapbox directions. Great. So the first thing we're going to need is a map for our or to display a map. So let's go uh, create a map view variable. And in our view did load, let's set up our map. make it take up the entire uh, view. And then we will also show uh, the current user location. We'll set that to true. Uh, we'll set our user tracking mode. to follow an animated 
true. And then we'll add it to our view. Great, now that we have that done, uh, we can't quite load our map yet. Uh, what we're gonna need to do is add a couple things to our info.plist. Uh, the first thing we're gonna need is a, um, our, uh, a location to tell the user that we're, we are uh, using, uh, using their location and why we're using it. So it's n s location when Use usage description. And what we can do is say why we're using it. So use to show your location on the map. Now the user knows if they should enable it or disable it. And we also need a uh, background mode. And for the directions we need audio so that they can um, so that the instructions of where to go can be um, read to that user and we also need our mapbox token so you can get it from your mapbox account um, so Add a new one here, MGL map box access token. Um, and I'm not gonna, you're gonna end up putting yours in here. Um, I'm not gonna show you mine. Uh, start and run our app and see a map on the screen. See, it's still loading my map there. And we'll say allow, and there we can see our, the, just the default map box map. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add in the map that we um, created before. Uh, when we find our Jasper Rock Climbs map. We go to the share and use button, and then you click the use, and you click iOS and you see our access token and our style URL. We want the style URL. So we copy that to our clipboard. We go to our view controller, map view dot, uh, I believe it's style URL. And the normal way to do this is you paste in a string uh, like this, this will not work. Uh, you're gonna have to create a URL first. Um, see, it gives you an error. Map box cannot call uh, URL. So what we can do is just go URL uh, from the string. And then that should load our custom map. So let's try that out. Ooh. Oh, it's not a method. <laughs> there we go. That'll work. So hopefully we get our nice custom built map that we met, made. There it is. If you look, we can see all our GeoJSON points. Zoom in. You can see all the rock climbs that we added there. And that's it. That's how to add a custom map, map, map box map uh, into your iOS app.